okay we want that nice ladies and bag to buy just eat up auntie pauline and tell pauline what you want of this bag and how you can get this bag to buy just call me man or dm me direct and i'll give you the price it's going cheap cheap all right this is another one uh-huh this is another one this one is a little bit smaller but it's suitable you're going downtown or you're going on a little move you know you don't want to carry any big bag so you see the difference between both of them yeah different colors and this one is burgundy at the back Mm -hmm. This one is plain black at the back. Mm -hmm. Give me a shout out for so good afternoon, my YouTube family, friends, and loved ones. How are you all doing? You know, Auntie Paulina is always featuring this guinea tree, and you know what I like about this guinea tree, it's cool under here, so most likely you'll see me. As you have told you before, most of my videos I do it at work, you know, so I always come under the guinea tree if I'm not in the office and I'll do it. And I can see a ship way out in the ocean, but I don't know what is happening. The ocean is not looking good. It's foggy. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. There you go. <laughs> Big ship sailing on the ocean. We no need no commotion all right so if you realize um i did not come with the online devotion this morning i have a lot going on i have a busy morning and when i say busy not in the terms of work but my phone was busy my phone was blowing up blowing up a lot of calls a lot of texts because we have discovered early this morning that we have lost a loved one, a family member. And the persons were concerned, the persons are crying, mourning, you know. So that's why my I could hardly find time to do the devotion this morning because I was busy on the phone plus work, catch up, catching up with work and stuff like those. But nevertheless, as I said, losing a loved one is not... It does, it's not nice, especially the way we lost the, lost them, you know. And uh, I just want to send out condolences to the immediate families of my cousin. My cousin, so I do hope and trust that you'll find comfort. But I just want to, to, to pause a little and to consider and to think about death. And... Uh, the hand you know because after death there comes the judgment and when we think about the judgment we realize that after death we don't have any more hope no all hope is lost we it is finished the only thing is left is that when jesus comes and the trumpet sound then that will determine our fate because if we hear the first trumpet, then we know that we shall arise to meet our Lord in the air. But if we do, we hear the second, only hear the second trumpet, that is doom for us, right? That is doom. So let us live our lives so that we can, if we die, we can hear the first trumpet when it blows. All right. And there is no repentance in the grave so whatever we are doing let us do it now whatever we have to complete in order to make it to the heavenly kingdom let us do it now before it is too late right let us make right with God let us do it now under the cross of Jesus let us lay our burdens down let us lay it all at the feet foot of the cross because 
there is no repentance in the grave and i just want to share this lovely poem with you you know i always like to say poem and this is one of them that i remember from memory and please listen carefully to the words that i'm saying because as i said there is no more chance when jesus said it is finished when it is finished it is finished so let us not dream because one day let us not just sit and dream or lay, lay and dream because one day this dream may be reality and when reality kicks in that is the time for us to say determine our fate where will we be so this poem is entitled a taste of judgment what did i say a taste of judgment it was a night like others i had thought i awoke at dawn as a cock crew i went to my window to see the day break but the sight i saw made me shake a brilliant light pierced through my window pane as trumpets sound again and again that beautiful light made a hollow in the sky to welcome the coming of the lord on high as I watched, there appeared the master's hand, and in ha, ah, I listened to angels' band. Then the master came forth in a beautiful array, his saints from earth to heaven to convey. I'm not ready yet. Dear God, not now my plans aren't met. I've not visited the sick or fed the poor. I've not welcomed the stranger at my door. I've maliced my neighbor from yesterday and didn't even find time last night to pray. I've criticized the saints who try to be saved and say things they don't deserve. You can't come now. I'm not prepared. There's still your children to be reserved. There's still that soul that I plan to win and the added confession of my unknown sin turn back a minute let me straighten out this mess in my life and turn about i plan to pay my tithe this year but end up buying some clothes to wear give me one more day to make things right then i'll serve you with all my might i'll run like an athlete to deliver a track i'll sing on the choir i'll even act give me one more day lord just one more day so as i said before when jesus said it is finished it is finished there is no one more day there is no second chance all right we can have our second chances now by reversing or doing the correct thing now right this is our second chance let us make use of this second chance because when Jesus comes, there is no second chance. Let us, by the grace of God, let us, by the grace of God, and may God help us as we go from day to day, endeavor to do the things that are right and pleasing in His sight. Because on that day, when Jesus comes, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There will be no more dying, no more crying when we go to that heavenly land. We will all be ready to hail the Lord as our personal Savior free from sin. Let us by the grace of God be faithful, remain faithful, stay faithful, and continue to work and to fight the good fight of faith and to lay hold on eternal life because in the end we will reap our just reward. Thanks for listening. And... I do hope and trust that you will share my videos. You will subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And you will hit the like button. And also the notification bell. That when I upload another video, you will be first to be notified. Alright? So, this is Auntie Pauline saying, peace out. If you can't be good, be careful.